Stack and facilitate this. Uh, She's really good. It's not really like that. It's, it's pretty much just like I just tell people to talk. He's just saying when. Like I, I identify people and I ask them to clarify when they're when they're being too confusing and stuff like that. All right. Uh, you raise your hand first, and then you, do you want to do that? All right. So we talked about why we're not doing it at Kanawa, and we pretty much all agreed on Monroe Park, or that's like the group consensus, right? Yes. Yeah. We like we like Monroe Park. We're gonna chill there. But is there a more like public place where we, can't we go don't? Back on those yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the oh, well, I was just asking a question. I know, but the consensus was made, so it's can, going back it later. Okay. Code has an order here. Okay. So, I'm confused here because the person who explained it in our group was like October 15th would be the start date, and then we would continue from there. So my question is, are we starting the rally in Monroe Park, and then moving it somewhere else, or are we staying in Monroe Park? Yes. To clarify that is, when we meet up at 4 on October 15th, we will then decide where we're going to go from there. If we're going to stay in Monroe Park, if we're going to go move to another park, if we're going to move to the street, that's what we'll decide later. All right? Uh, two, I have a uh, one, two, three. You can go. You can hand up. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say we definitely, especially seeing how many people are left right now, need to meet way before the 14th. Yes. Yeah. Way yes. fucking before, and we need to. I mean, two days from now, three days from now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in between, everybody talk, fucking say stuff. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, still but yeah. Uh, she had her hand up the wall. Yes. All right. Um, I just want to say something. Um, sorry, I'm going to my backpack too. Um, one of our organizers, all of our organizers, we're all organizers, first of all, but we put someone in charge of talking with the police department. He had to make 20 calls to get in contact with the person who is um, the head of the police department. I don't know his name. I am not the person who talked to him, but we actually came up with a list from what we got back from the police department. That's um, we actually were told, there he is, and I'll let him talk. I'm going to put the floor to Shaggy for and let him talk. Um, uh, the man in the Superman hat, Mo and uh, Josh, right? Wait, I think Josh. Shaggy. 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 I just want to segue from what okay. I was saying. Okay, uh, yeah. Because she can't, she didn't want to speak. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, what I'm looking at is I spent uh, a few days uh, with the Richmond Police Department bouncing from person to person until I finally ended up with Sergeant Ward. He is in charge of the Special <laughs> Events Department. Uh, we had a discussion on what the police would request from us to make sure that arrests become as minimal as possible. There will probably still be a police presence to ensure the safety of us and others. The requests that they have made are essentially that we do not use artificial amplification such as megaphones. The mic check seems to be working, so I do not see that as a problem. They ask that we do not block traffic in any way, shape, or form. This would limit marching, but as long as we can be respectful, it can happen. Traffic as in cars? Vehicle, and vehicular and or pedestrian. Okay. This would include entrance and exit from buildings. Any building that we are protesting, we need to allow access to them. In other words, if you wouldn't be comfortable with your mother walking to that door, you're not doing it right. That's what his words, not mine. Yes, ma'am. No, I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I heard his mother just sister. <laughs> okay. So basically, those are the main things that they have requested from us, and they also gave us some reminders that, you know, if the building has a post a curfew, they can and will be forced to remove us. Now that doesn't necessarily happen immediately the first night, but it can happen at any time. So public parks are one of those places where they can immediately remove us. Uh, Mo knows that story. 
Um, oh. Oh, are you done? But uh, they've also asked us to keep weapons out of it and things like that. If you're on private par property, at the moment the owner, um, the moment the owner makes a complaint, it is their job to protect that owner's rights, just like it is for him to protect our rights. If uh, if we're being attacked or anything to that effect. So essentially, uh, other than that, it's just common sense: no weapons, no drugs, uh, don't litter because if you litter, that can incite a policeman who isn't necessarily on board with the entire program. Mm -hmm. They are excited to see us, and they're excited about our passion. They realize that most of us are here for them, too. But we just need to make sure that we do follow the simple rules of not trespassing, not blocking any traffic whatsoever, because that will get you arrested first thing. Any right. questions? Can I they ask have any a question? On where to, uh, as far as, I know we were talking about a location for camping. There is no real recommendation for camping because there is no real allowance of structures being built. They don't even uh, particularly care for the tarps and tape. Um, so camping, uh, it's probably going to be one of those things where we take shifts sleeping as opposed to all sleeping at once. Okay. So if a policeman comes by, he will try to wake you to make sure that you're not injured and do not need medical attention. So it might be one of those things that if a policeman roll, rolls up, you might want to wake up everybody around you. You know, five people sleep, five people stay awake, something like that. That would probably be, be the best system. They, they request that we keep moving, but we they understand that if this is going to be a long-term, multi-day, multi-week event, that people are going to need to sleep sometime. Um, is it, uh, Mo, you have a question for him, or would you like to? Well, you had super in-house, Zach, and then we Yeah, that's, I, I wanted to get to that. Okay. Um, to make, to make things easier for everybody, what I point to you is you want to get on stack, move towards the center of the circle, and when you're done, uh, uh, leave the center of the circle, ID, so the next person behind you is in that speed. That will just expedite your knowledge. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so that's yes. a, right. a negative. And on yeah. that okay. note, not so, to take anyone off stack, so sorry, um, there is a spot right down here where there are like tiers where people can sit, and then if you're in stack, you can form sort of a queue about meeting in front of everyone so that everyone can hear. Or another thing that was suggested earlier was if you're not speaking, sit down. Um, is, is there any preference on that? Do we want tears or do we want squats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit, sit, let's sit, move up. Oh, sit here or move Did y'all want to move to the... Hold on. Modify consensus. Who would like to sit? Please raise your hand. Oh, oh, Does anyone have a strong opposition with sitting? sitting or right sitting? Yeah. 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 Are yeah. occupying yeah. a space yeah. right here by having a problem? We're practicing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the uh, people that I have... <coughs> I just want to throw out another possible location. I mean, it, it has All of them have problems or good points, but Capitol Square is a block over from the Bank of America building. It's on Main, it's, uh, if, you, if you walk north from the Bank of America building, Capitol Square, it's huge. I don't know what the state rules are about staying overnight, but I just want to throw that out there. I can say briefly on Capitol Square that they won't even let you go in there with a sign of any sort, so I doubt that they would let us go in there with anything to set up an occupation. Because like, if you just try to have a protest in Capitol Square, they'll kick your ass right out. Um, with, with the location, I was part of the Monroe Park occupation, which lasted for 10 days in Monroe Park in March. Um, and we illegally stayed overnight, you have to leave parks at dark, and we illegally set up tents and we even built a structure out of pallets and like built this like 20 foot by 10 foot pallet madugi thing. Um, uh, it's not legal and like Shaggy was saying like the police can use that as an excuse to kick you out obviously um, I think the idea with an occupation though is that you get so many people that it's such a pain in their butt to deal with logistically <laughs> that they would rather just like kind of not um, and I think that since we didn't come to any decision as the larger group about where we should actually occupy that meeting um, uh, on the 15th at 4 to figure it out would be a good start to place to start and that also we should consider tactically that we don't have to stay in one place and that we don't have to decide on a permanent spot where we have to like hedge in and say we're always going to be there. We can use the Wall Street model by marching around in large groups and then maybe moving sometimes when we feel like it and that would be a good way to get kind of the jump on the cops in terms of security culture because if we say we're going to go to the Bank of America since that's private property, like Shaggy said, there's going to be more um, pressure on the cops to kick us out immediately. But if we're in Monroe Park, it's kind of a little bit more nebulous, even though it's still illegal. But that could give us the time to get together the numbers necessary to take over other things in the future. Like, we shouldn't limit ourselves at all. All right. Josh, it was your, uh, your turn. Uh, and then the gentleman in the white hoodie and then the man with the bike. Are you, are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Is anybody else would like to get on stack? Okay. All right, uh, you're, you're next after him. Um, 
Uh, three, four, who am I forgetting? Is that it? Yeah. The... Cool, all right. Um, okay. Well, one of the things, oh, I was mostly uh, earlier talking about moving or sitting or whatever, but I think it might be um, just for the sake of discussion and for the sake of facilitation, and maybe even though we're a smaller group for this discussion, come to some sort of consensus about how we will continue to discuss in an orderly manner. That way you don't have five or six people trying to talk over each other or anyone hopping up and talking over other people. So with this stack in mind, does it seem acceptable to everyone to create sort of a people stack? And we all agree that one person speaks at a time. Perhaps um, we can have some degree of direct response but keep it to a time limit. And then we have like a, a line of people. I know that's very middle school but like a line of people in order, in physical order, to come speak. That way we have a little bit more structure to the facilitation, we have a little bit more order, and it's still very fair and everyone has an opportunity to speak. Are we all in favor of that? Awesome, so um, since you're sort of our stack person right now, where would you suggest that we put this um, line? Could we have somewhat... Sure, absolutely. Could we have somewhat of a part right here so people could line up right here? Cool. Is everybody is everybody fine with that? Any concerns as, as to why we should not do that? All right. In the order I told told you guys, uh, are you done? Um, well, I was just gonna say. So we'll start with our names. You'll speak. Um, do we want to have a timer and go ahead and agree on like a two minute time limit, so that everyone has an opportunity to speak about what they're concerned about? Are we okay with a two minute time limit? Is anyone opposed? Directly stand up and speak. You're opposed. All right, okay. sure. It, will not, it won't be a clock, but... But keep, your, keep in mind, two, two minutes would be lovely, because there's a lot of people that have, that have voices here. Everyone needs to be heard. Okay. Cool. All right. It's your turn. You can you can come forward if you, if you feel more comfortable that way. Can I, no. everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm Bill Nelson. Um, you'll see me on the uh, Facebook page as Flip Scripts. I, I have one concern. Um, the, this seems to be uh, being micromanaged uh, to a point where it will not, it's, it's just going to fall apart. There has to be a sense, there has to be a sense of everyone coming together, agreeing without being micromanaged into agreeing. Um, now, I have a, one, one other question here. We have all agreed that we will meet in Monroe Park on the 15th at 1 o'clock to support the other, um, the other protest. When we get there, from there we will have another meeting to decide exactly where we are going to go. From there, okay, this is this is going to be very important. Where is it? We don't know yet. Okay, we, we're, we don't know. But the thing is, is that you're saying we're not marching. We will be. I get, I'm telling you, we will be. People will be marching. People will be literally on foot, walking from the park downtown that will happen I'm gonna do it okay I'm, I'm just letting you know okay and I think it was to do that because if you try to drive your car down there it will end up too then where are you gonna be okay so you're gonna need to you know think about that and try to provide yourself some type of way of getting here and getting down there. If you don't, if you don't want to walk, or if you have to leave, um, you know, you're going to have to think about that. I, that's that's all I really want right. to say. Uh, I'm just going to give you a direct response to that first. And that, what, what he's all saying to abbreviate what he said, not, try, try not to marginalize you. But we've all, when we came to consensus, we agreed that we would when we meet up at October 15th at 4 p.m we would decide where we go from there. We don't know where we're gonna go from there, but if we're not gonna stay in the park, we obviously will have to be moving. So whether it be on the sidewalk or, through this, or walking on the street, we're gonna have some type of transportation, whether, and it will probably be a march. And 
Whether it be legal or illegal, we don't know yet. But that would happen, and we need to prepare for that, is what you're trying to say, correct? Correct. All right. Does anyone have a response to that? I mean, we all know, though, if we park, we have to stay on the sidewalks because we yeah. don't have enough money to pay the police to have No, that's... No, yeah. stay on the sidewalks. You, yeah. you, you have to stay on the I don't want to get hit by yeah. a car. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm glad you clarified that. Yeah. All right. Does anyone have a direct response to I him? I, yes. Uh, yeah. Obstructing traffic if we are going to be marching uh, down the sidewalk, we got to make sure that we stay on the streets and also obey the cross light law, uh, laws, you know, so that it doesn't become a parade and so that we're not obstructing that traffic. And then, you know, because we don't want to get shut down before we even get to the place that we're occupying. So just to keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I know I've been experienced with this as everyone, uh, a couple other people that I know about, but there was. There was a uh, march that was somewhat on the sidewalks for May, uh, for, yeah. uh, for May 1st. And we, uh, what, we, what we had done before is we had people designated as uh, people who would protect the crosswalks, make sure there was no aggressive drivers that are going to out and harm pedestrians. And uh, this is something like, it's very small. We shouldn't be talking about it in such a large group, but uh, we'll go over these on, uh, at a later time. Um, the internet's open. What? The internet's always open. The internet's open. Do we have a hashtag designated? Uh, there's the Facebook page. No, hashtag, I think I, it should just be Occupy Richmond. Occupy so yeah. Richmond. Yeah. And there is a Twitter. There is a Twitter account. I, I do know there's a Twitter account that's not necessarily been as active as it should be, but it's supposed to become active as of today, I think. This is all direct response. Yeah, direct response real quick. Um, so in regards to the social media account, in regards to the, you know, the concept of marching versus occupying or whatever it is that everyone wants to do, in regards to the gentleman who spoke earlier about, um, about forming a medical working group, uh, one of the things that they did up in Wall Street that I've been informed of is they created a number of working groups, right? So there were people who were very, very interested in certain aspects of that particular Occupy movement coming together without a leader, of course, but coming together and discussing these in small groups so that they can then begin to build on their discussions and start to come to some sort of consensus in the microcosm and then bring that consensus to the General Assembly to be voted upon. Now, of course, if you're in the General Assembly, you can, um, you can oppose that, you can block that, um, but, but that's sort of something that we're going to need to approach so that we can begin to make real decisions and begin to create the infrastructure that will make this occupation uh, successful. So. Okay. Um, yeah, that's exactly what he said. I we're the meeting of October fifteenth at four o'clock. Is it four or one? one. If you, you are can able come to make one, the rally, please at one come and then at four if, if you can. Okay, yeah. but we all whatever we're. We're all against corruption of some sort. We all need to come up with what exactly we want to like discuss or be against. Like, because we need some sort, like exactly what he said, we need some sort of, we need like singularity. We need one group of people and we have to be able to come together and not be so disorganized that someone's against something. And I will see my here. I have a direct response to a lot of this. Um, sorry, I've just been on stack for a minute. Um, I don't know if we necessarily can need to come up with a consensus of what we believe yet. Not yet. We all believe we all believe really different things. Not yet. Exactly. And we all need to be respectful of each other's opinions on these different things. However, we do need to work with logistics. It's the main point here. In New York, they do have small working groups. There needs to be trust in one another that all this stuff will get done. Not everyone's opinion needs to be heard on every single small decision. I understand some might call that management, but at the same point, what are we supposed to do? There's, you know, whether we go across Laurel or Floyd, is it should not be like, well, that, that will be general assembly, but still, every single opinion doesn't need to be heard on every small thing. What happens is those working groups bring the consensus of the working group to general assembly, which I assume and hope that we will be having, to have the to have the mass consensus take in a modified what was the word modified. modified consensus on those small smaller ideas. Does everyone kind of understand the way that it works in New York for that? Has anyone else been to New York up here? Because I'd love to hear. I'm, I'm going. Okay, well I went this last weekend and the organization was 
phenomenal. So I wouldn't really be opposed to organization because that's the reason that people are going up there because they, they feel like they have a place. <laughs> There's lots of little parts that I wanted to be part of and I couldn't even choose which one to be. And I know we're different, but at a certain point you have to like pick a model and go with it. You have a direct um, response? I, I was just wondering what exactly, you know, is there, Hi. I, I just kind of wonder what's, you know, basically, New York was, uh, I keep coming across the with the idea that New York was like organized and micromanaged in its creation, right. which it was not. Right. And that's what I'm saying. I, I fear the word micromanage here because that has a negative connotation and I think their organization was beautiful. Okay. And that being said, uh -huh. it wasn't organized. Up there? It wasn't organized originally. Right. So we have well, and, and, and we can learn from organized, that. Right, exactly. You can. But when you try to over organize such a large group, mm -hmm. it will not work. It will fall apart. I think we've I'm telling you. Right. That sounds I agree. Right. I agree. response? All right, hold hold on just one moment. Uh, uh, things have gotten a little uh, back, and forth. back and forth. It's just been direct responses for our issues. Like if you want it. You want to branch off what somebody just said as a result of a direct response? Please go into the stack line because this is going to go on forever and it'll, and it'll diminish the stack line. Mm -hmm. so that's yeah. a, absolutely no purpose. Yeah. And Kai here is up to stack, I think. Next. Um, but did you have something you wanted to say? Stack line. 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 If you had something to say, you'd be in the stack line. Yeah. I have a proposal. Can we limit direct responses to two yeah. direct yeah. responses? All right. Any opposed to that? Yeah. All right, two direct responses. All right. Yo, I got a recommendation. Why don't we all just go out there? Hold on, honey, stack. Yeah, one. All the stack, please. Get back here. Stack. All right. <laughs> you, you were right behind right. us. Um, I just wanted to point out there was something said earlier about being on federal property arises the fear of getting persecuted by the federal government. But you all have to know your rights. We, like, in order to do this and not have anything go wrong, something will go wrong I'm sure, but not to have any arrests, minimal arrests, we need to know our rights, and basically the reason people got arrested in Wall Street was because they were blocking traffic and they charged barricades that police had put up to protect traffic and to protect buildings, so we need to know, we need to make sure, is that not true? That's not true, not yeah, true. Okay, well, that's what I read on the internet, but we just all need to like know our rights and then make sure we're not infringing on anything that's illegal. Alright, uh, one, two, all right, did you? I know, I'm okay. agreeing. I'm all right. I was just going to say, the wingnut guys have, they know all of your rights and they'll tell you them, so talk to them. Can you tell us where to go to get to, get to them? Um, okay. I don't know exactly the address, I don't remember it, but there's a ton of them here. Wing that, is there wingnut people that can, that can, people that are, I think that's a lot of them in that group. Yeah. So if you want to go to the wingnut, I have a flyer if you want to go yeah, and it's really long, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, you have a lot of rights, but if you're interested in, like, looking them up, look them up online or, um, call 804-303-5449, 804-303-5449, and I'm and sure was, someone will help you, yeah. There was also the, um, someone made an announcement about if someone could repeat it, I'm not sure, all the details about where they're giving, they're giving, they're vocalizing this somewhere this weekend. Yeah, there's a VCU rally uh, in this park. No, it was a, it was a so the scene festival. The scene festival was at the Brooklyn yeah. Gate um, Gate Community Center. Um, four o'clock Saturday. It's all on Rich on the um, Occupy Richmond Facebook page. Just go there, and there's going to be another link to another website, and it's going to have all those groups listed. The, uh, the that once you just said, but yeah, all the information is there. Just go to the Occupation Richmond Facebook page, and they'll tell you all about the Zine well, Festival this Saturday to know your rights and know your police rights and everything. Oh, I feel like and you can you see the time again Saturday? What time? I don't know exactly the time. Okay. That's what I was telling to go to the, um, the Facebook page for Occupy Richmond. It's all on there. And yeah. if you don't know exactly how to get there, it's on Twitter, Occupy mm -hmm. and Occupy if Richmond. And just so click on their page, and they'll give you all the information you'll need there too. Okay.
I said a couple things, but I think she had a question. Did you, did you need any clarifications? Yeah, I was just asking, what to do if you don't have a Facebook? Are y'all sure that you can see all of this on Facebook? Um, if you don't, whoever's in charge of it, make sure that all the information is public and you don't need it's it in the account. It's all public. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. Um, real quick, I was just gonna say, I haven't been. I'm going to New York tonight, um, but. I think that it's totally reasonable to have stations for food, et cetera, set up. I don't think there's a danger of micromanagement from that. I think that there's a danger from saying, trying to come up with our own like statement. I think that we're part of the Occupy movement as a whole. And the reason that it's flourished so far is because it's been, we are all groups with differing opinions except on this one issue, which is the fact that these people have all the money. And I think that trying to come up with a different opinion is going to mess stuff up. Um, and then I was going to ask, I came to the meeting late because I was at work, but I was wondering if there's any like organized effort to talk to churches or anything like that yes. about getting people out of this? Okay, cool. Um, I just want to say real quick, the Wall Street uh, movement and the New York movement uh, just recently came out with their declaration. So um, we, if you have internet access, um, I believe there's a link on the Facebook, um, you can go look it up. So that has a list kind of kind of a declaration of rights, I guess. Um, so you can go look at that on OccupyTogether.org. There is a separate list of demands that has is more like legal demands and issues with legislation. But if you go take the time and look at that and kind of analyze it and assess it uh, and take your own thing from it, that will help us out and forming our own opinions and making a statement when we decide to. So. Any, any direct response to his comment? She has a direct right. response. Sorry, it's just a hit. Um, we actually would like to set up a declaration right Here now. You. Uh, we actually would like to set up a declaration. You can stand up if you want. We'd actually like to set up a declaration right now. So many people. Um, there is one organizer amongst all of us. Uh, his name is da Dallas Branham. And if you've been to the Facebook, he's asking for your thoughts and your ideas to add to the declaration. So Occupy Richmond can have our own declaration. It, can, I, can I have a direct response to that? Is that going to be, um, are, there, are the declarations going to be voted on in a general assembly? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <coughs> I'm just going to say a couple of things. I'm going to get out of here. But first off, do not be intimidated. Do not be intimidated by the disorder. Whatever what went on this afternoon, don't be intimidated by that. We were a little bit in a bit of a frenzy, but that's okay. That was inevitable. Now, the media is going, the media came, the media went. They are going to try to blow the, shed this in a negative light. But don't be discouraged, okay? Don't be discouraged. Their job is to reflect negative light on the youth of Richmond and to get people to think that we're just crazy drunk college kids. And we're not all even not all even college kids. We have people from various backgrounds and from various age groups. So do not be discouraged. We have all we've, we've met, we've agreed on a place and a time. And that was good enough for the moment. We've got a little bit more work to do and we're gonna get that done. Now I'm glad to know that the Facebook page is gonna Whooever's operating it, I don't know who's operating it, but whoever, many, many different people. No, only like four different people. Okay, but it's still, it's going to still be, okay, someone's <laughs> running it. So just stay up to date with that. I'm going to stay up to date with that. One of the things that I talked about in my group was that while we will be in Monroe Park, and what everyone is pretty much agreeing on at the moment, is that while we are meeting in Monroe Park, the likelihood of us going to another location is highly likely. Now, the only thing I'm worried about with that is we seem to be divided on the time. At first it was four, then it was one, then it was oh, four again. I can, I can clarify that. They want people to, to show up for the Women's Health Rally right. if, if they're capable of doing it, but the meeting on which we will do, where we're going to move is going to be at four. Okay. All right, so everyone's cool on that. That's okay. All right. I have a right <coughs> yeah. I'm just saying if people go to the women's rally, they shouldn't be, they should go to support that and not True. bring their signs to whatever they're going to be protesting, yeah. you know, yes. protesting about yeah. before, you know, be there for solidarity with that, and then we go on and they'll right, hopefully join with us, yeah. you know. If they want to join with us, they can't, yeah, exactly. not, no one's, yeah. don't use that as a support. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, one question over here. Did we decide whether or not we're actually going to be meeting one more time before then, and when that's going to be, or is that what we're doing tomorrow at 12? 
I don't think we reached a general consensus. I don't think we reached a general consensus. We did say something about Saturday. Tom tomorrow at 12 tomorrow. is not as uh, supposed to be put on by VCU students about right. to help gather information on what you should, what, what make people more informed about what's going on with this event. Right. It's not at all, it's supposed to be... Uh, yeah, I can, I can speak to that. Okay. Um, the event tomorrow at noon is purely a networking opportunity for the people on campus and whoever wants to join in Richmond. It's to get email addresses, phone numbers, names of people that want to help out, that want to support, and we're going to try to find out like who can do what, who has what special ability, who can be a photographer, who has access to a copier that can make flyers. Little things like that are going to be necessary for, it's like a grassroots thing. We need as many contacts as we can get so that we can have as many people doing as much as possible. Everyone spread the word. Everyone and that's, the that's word. what tomorrow is about. It's not about Everybody's like, you guys should have a platform, you guys should do this. And I just think that it's a little premature for like VCU rally to be like talking about a platform. I think that it's just, it's most important to get information out. And networking, contacts, contacts, contacts. The more numbers and email addresses we have, the better access we'll have and the more people we can reach that don't have Facebook that, you know, where and when? So then are we it's meeting tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow at noon, starting at noon, ending at 4, right in the amphitheater between this building and the next building. There will be a megaphone from noon to 1. We will be taking speakers on a stack basis. And um, when you actually get to the rally, there will be a police liaison. That person is going to be the only person who talks to the police. They will be the direct line of communication from the police to the protesters so that we can limit any problems. That will be me. My brother is a, up in Wall Street and he said that that's one of the most important things is that you have a police liaison. We're going to have a media liaison. We're going to have a volunteer coordinator, etc. We have jobs. Come find people. Just come. Get your ideas out. We're going to get your contact. You got the 15th? All right. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say, while well, you're all thinking of ideas of what our declaration should be about, Wall Street protest has been considered disorganized. They don't have any idea what they're talking about because they have many different issues to try and to address at once. Um, I think if we just try to come up with a few basic goals that everyone can agree on, because there's so many different opinions, and action steps to go along with those goals so we can try to move towards changing and just instead of just complaining about things. Now, of course, there can be secondary, tertiary, etc. goals, but we all agree on a few basic things. Am I right? Yes. yes. Okay. That's all right. All Hold I have on. To say. You have a direct response? I'm, yeah. I'm going to say that we, I don't think we all agree, and I think that one of the reasons that protests tend to fail in this country um, is because. You get, a, you get a protest going and a bunch of different factions show up and argue. And I think that we should wait to have a, a, a statement if we're going to come up with a statement after we see what the response from people down there are and what the response from the police I agree. community is. I would just say it's, that, good uh, to, it's, it's good to let it build first. The more, the yeah, more people you have showing up trying to figure out what it's about, the bigger it gets before you come to a statement. I agree, but I think everybody does agree on a couple of things. Let's not try to divide ourselves in the beginning. Let's just find what we agree on and then worry about everything else. Otherwise, we're just going to have everybody interrupting each other. We're not going to make any progress. Do you have a response to me? Um, I think two things that we can all agree on. I think two things that we can all agree on is what they started in New York is important. And they need our support. Um, I think the various Occupy movements that are jumping up are a direct result of what they started and what they are maintaining. I would be very happy to see us focus on lending our solidarity towards not only them, but every other Occupy movement that pops up. We don't really need to agree on these issues. We all agree that they
there are too many to list. We all can agree that we're tired of them. Yes. And we all can agree that something needs to happen. Yes. How it needs to happen, what direction it needs to happen in, is not as important right now as showing that we are all together. Yes, that's yes. right. That's right. Well, All right, any, yeah, any direct responses to Colin? Okay, um, I just want to say because um, on the issue of people having their own different interests and whatnot, I completely agree with what you just said. And I think that all of these issues still go over this large umbrella of wealth distribution, income inequality. It all comes down to the, this general umbrella. And on what you mentioned, we need to come up with a way that is satisfactory and actually works to diffuse any kind of aggression. We are having people in this element already being aggressive with one another. We just saw it happen in Monroe Park and it's very disturbing. We are fighting over these structural inaccuracies, these things that are happening that we have no control over and yet we are making our own little structure disintegrate. We will implode on ourselves if we don't come up with a solution to get rid of the aggression. We have to come up with something together. I just wanted to put that out there. Direct response. Yeah, anybody do, direct response to Colin's comment about yeah, about to get the United um, He largely covered it. Uh, you went back to it. Please keep in mind that it was two and a half to three weeks after the protest started before they bothered to come out with a statement. We can have a fairly solidified statement before we begin our protest, however the protest uh, evolves, then we might be taken a little bit more seriously by older people that may not know what's going on. Uh, we don't want to look like a bunch of uninformed kids, like Wall Street has been portrayed. So I think we should try to head that off. All right. Did you? Should be next Yeah. If you do not have something that's direct, related to what he just said. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I'm looking at is that they are not disorganized in New York as much as the media portrays them. No, they them. aren't. Yeah. They're being portrayed as such, and I'd like to try and head that off. And they're going, to be, they're going to be radicals, they're going to be people that really don't know what the movement's about, and that's who the media is going to target. That's who the media is making it look that way. So we will have to worry about that no matter what we do, no matter how we get out in front. But I think the Guys, model we should... Guys, stack after this? Okay. Uh, what I'm looking at is we really shouldn't be looking for any answers right now That's as right. much as we should be making sure that we're in place to start asking questions. That's the motto I've been living with. I don't have the answers, but I am coming forth to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. we have next stack. All right. Yeah, we're going to move on to the next in stack. Um, we're, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna try my best. Only two direct responses. <laughs> Just wrapping up real quick, echoing and and concisely saying this. Um, it seems like we're all pretty calm right here. Definitely, we all need to start going home and thinking about how can we keep this patient, how can we keep this calm, and not angry, and we individually need to take initiative when someone next to us is yelling, when someone next to us is angry, to ask them why they're angry, why are they yelling, and then try to calm them down and try to figure out how they can speak in a way that everyone else can understand. Uh, no? You disagree? I'm agreeing. Oh, you're agreeing? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, this means agree, by the way. Anybody who's joined? Agree. Um, disagree. I don't. I don't think everybody. I don't think we were told about this is direct response. Right. Yeah. There's quite a few hand signals that New York's using that I feel like we should go over in a larger general assembly. Sorry. There's quite a few hand signals that are being used in New York that we. I feel we should go over in a larger general assembly. Um. Unless someone is really familiar, I know quite a few of them, but I don't feel comfortable expressing all of them to you in case I get something wrong. So maybe we need to take some initiative and look them up on the on the internet. Direct response. Um, just real quick, I think we can probably, at least for the sake of this discussion, just use four. Um, and those seem to be the four that were most commonly used at the General Assembly right over there. This is agree, so everyone agree with me? Agree with me! <laughs> yes! Um, this is disagree. 
this is strongly disagrees. So if you strongly disagree with something, you do this. I mean, you're gonna be called on. But yeah, this is a block. So make like if, if you're gonna block something, make sure you have like something really really strongly against it to say, so that we can use that strong opposition to help evolve the conversation. Um, and then this is sort of what's been used for direct response. I mean, is, is that cool with everyone? It's what they're using up in yeah. New York. It seems effective. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, my name is Cassandra. Just to, just to add to what everyone's been saying, this is about respect for one another because we are all the 99%. We are all affected by this. Please do not speak over one another. Please do not call names. Please do not insult people. And please, please, please behave around the police. I know that not everyone agrees to the police as a system, but as individuals, they are with us as the 99%. They are the working class. They are the working class, like you and I, him and her. What? And furthermore, um, just please spread the word to everyone you know, and please keep in mind this is not a protest, it is an occupation, it is a statement of solidarity that we will not tolerate what has been going on in our country for another That's second. Right. Thank you. Hey dudes and dudes skis, my name is Jason. Hi First Jason. I like, no, hey. First I'd like to say, power the people, you guys rock for doing this. Um, second of all, um, I have to regretfully inform you all that I won't be at the actual uh, occupation beginning until the evening. I'm going to be out of town and coming right back. But I do want to say that um, since there are things that need to be taken care of as far as, as subcommittees and this and that and organizational things, I'd like to head up cleaning up all the trash. If anybody else wants to help me with that, um, yeah, sanit sanitation committee. Um, cause what sucks more than, you know, people keeping us down is rubbing our faces in all the trash. Um, so, talk to me on the Facebook group, I'm me, BC Kleta. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to just add on to what I said. Like, the networking thing that's going on in, uh, just around the corner, right behind this building, from 12 to 3, is a great way if you want to uh, have a committee like sanitation committee so if, and to help network with other people who are interested with that now let's go on to the next thing actually on that exact same note hi i'm josh by the way hi, josh. and hi, josh. what we are trying to do here is not have a single flash in the pan we are trying to create sustained pressure bearing down on our so-called leaders until they are forced to change their ways and we will not do that without organization and initiative and I'm, I'm a little concerned by this knee-jerk reaction that I'm hearing anytime somebody says, oh, well, I'll do this or I'll be in charge of that, and somebody says, oh my god, you said in charge, ah. I think we should show nothing but gratitude to our dear sisters and brothers who have taken the initiative to bring us here tonight, yes. and who have gone to New York, who have organized events like this before, for sharing their talents with us. And we all have talents we have to give. I don't know about you, I'm a terrible, you know, administrative, organizational, I can't keep any of that straight. I'm a good communicator, so I'm going to try to use those skills. And I just would like everybody to think about what skill you want to bring to the table because we all have a part to play and nobody should feel like they're being dominated or left out just because we're trying to find a way for all of us to use our talents. Do you have the... Um, we can both stand up. I, I have a direct response and that's that um, those two race and gender have both been oppressed groups, so we need to give a little bit of gentleness and patience and and, um, and lead the way to let them have more of a voice than they do already in society because this is a group where we need to like hear everyone and that's, those are two groups that aren't always heard in society. So. Um, all right. we have a everyone point. should have a chance to speak. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I, need, I need to step in here. Like, yeah, you... Uh, this a I, okay. Um, Going, agree, I agree with you um, going off what you said, but because um, race and gender have been um, used by, in social institutions to oppress, we need to acknowledge that and acknowledge the oppression, and it still goes on every day, whether we realize it or not, but we need to acknowledge that, and when we acknowledge that, we can move past it and move forward and accept it and accept each other and accept ourselves. The point is to be empathetic, to put ourselves in other people's shoes. So we, and that is how we show solidarity. Ah, but should we shut someone down?
Uh, I'm trying to speak because of their race. Well, I, 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 okay. I, no, I, I think I think I know what you're talking about. Are you you're referring to uh, when the young man stood up? He had a hat on. He said it, it's no, all being dominated uh, by white men. What happened? My group was talking about the date. Uh, we came to a consensus. Uh, the facilitator asked who wanted to speak for the group to say what we came to. Josh stepped forward, and then someone said, "No, you're too white privileged." We need to find someone else to talk. Okay, that, that was, uh, that I think, inappropriate. Does anybody disagree or think that was okay? Uh, all right, I'm going to, yeah, I, I'm i going to step in here. The group had dissolved at that point. Okay. So no one got to talk about it. Can I speak okay. with you one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. The, this. Yeah. I, I want to do the last people here on stack, and then we're gonna uh, give Russ the floor real quick. He had a direct lie. Yeah. Disagree over yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> speak up. Bless you all, and thank you. Thank you. Um. I don't want to be able to speak any more than she's able to speak. Again, that's really not the issue here. Um, this doesn't even boil down to a political thing. Because the issue isn't the politicians, it's the companies that pay the lobbyists that get them to vote in the right direction. So again, let's not be misled by where the direction is coming from. Um, you all are correct. Race, gender, sexual affiliation, preference, age, all of these have been used to tell us that we're different and get us bickering within each other. Bickering to the point of the fact that we're bickering over who should speak more, when that's not the issue. If you have something to say, speak and say it, and I'll open my ears, and I hope that you all feel the same way. If we're all in the same neighborhood, if we're all in the same economic structure, then we're all under the same pressure. We're just being pulled from different strings in different ways. Some are being told not to like us for one thing, and others are being told that we should like somebody else better for another thing. But that's just separating us. So, bottom line, let's not bicker over who speaks, and when they speak, let's just be human. All right, I, I know a lot of people haven't, this is always gonna be a highly contested, all right. that has it and is based on this. We, I, I've discussed this with friends in New York, and I don't necessarily agree or disagree, but it's something maybe everyone should go think about at home. In New York, when they do do stack, they are bringing up different uh, different oppressed groups and, and ordering them in such a way, and there will be different facilitators through each General Assembly where oppressed groups... I'm not saying you have to agree at all, because I don't necessarily agree. I'm just letting you know that that is happening in New York, so educate yourself on that issue and come back with a more educated opinion. All right. um, I just have a direct, quick direct, right. direct response. Um, the, the uh, reason I mean, I mean, like, we like we can do direct responses about about race yeah. like this all the time. I mean, like, but we're all going to have contested but opinions. This this is, this, I'm, I'm talking and and specifically about the way that they're stacking. Yeah. Um, I mean, bringing in the whole historic the background of oppression, but they're bringing those up, traditionally oppressed groups up in the stack uh, to promote more equality between those traditionally oppressed groups and the traditionally non non oppressed groups. So it's not about lowering the it's not about lowering white males, it's about bringing those oppressed groups up to the same level. That's right. what it's about. All right. I, I just want to say real yeah, quick. Can you, right, I think it's we just have bit, like two like 10 second things yeah. and then, we, then we can move on from this. Yeah. For everyone to sit here and get upset. Oh, I didn't get to talk. The thing is is that we're here in solidarity. Now, every single one of us has to understand that you might not even get a chance to talk. It's, that is not, that should not be like a big deal to you. I mean, really. If, if you have something that you need to say so badly, then you can say it on the, on the Facebook page.
you can say it, you, I mean, you can make your sign, say it on your sign, but to actually, like, to, you know, bring up a, a divisive issue saying that certain people have to talk at a certain time or what have you is ridiculous. That's all I want. All right. It's not about egos. It's not about getting to talk. It's about being judged by who you are rather than your appearance. And I would just like to say that as far as I'm concerned, the fact that all of you are sitting here, standing here, means you're my brothers and my sisters. And whatever inequality exists out in the world, we are all equals here. And I don't need anything else to prove it to you. I, th I thought that I went without saying. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now, we're going to get these last guys on stock, and then we're going to go into, what is it, sub subgroups? Working groups. Working yeah. groups, sorry. All right. Okay. Um, I don't have anything to, I have one thing that I'd like to agree upon. But primarily, what I've been doing is listening to things that I've been hearing here and before, and I'm hearing, I'm asking, I'm hearing the request for some kind of structure and some kind of organization, but then some concerns about how far that go and what that be. I think that we've already pretty well established a couple ways of doing things here that people feel pretty comfortable with. I'd like to throw those out there and actually just look at each and every one of them, and if everybody is in agreement that this is a good thing, then, I mean, this is a small group compared to what is going to be a larger group, so we can't actually say we speak for everybody. But if everybody here can speak for ourselves and we agree that, for example, we gather in general assembly is a good idea, then we can move forward with that kind of an idea. The people generally agree with that idea. We gather in general assembly, we make decisions in general assembly, unless it's, well, there may be something else, but there may be other ways to make decisions, but I think we all agree on that point, right? Cool. And I think we also all agree, I'm pretty sure, that we all agree that we make decisions by modified consensus. There What's any the threshold for modified consensus? 90%. 90%. 90%. Okay. Is there agreement about that? Sweet. Any, anybody disagree with that, for that matter? Great. All right. right. I think this is something we're starting here. I think it works better this way than the way it was working uh, in the park. Do we generally agree that working with a stack is a useful thing? Yes. Awesome. And the fourth point that I didn't put on here because I really don't think it's been talked about at all is I think it works really well when we sit down. Yes. Is there agreement about that? All right, I'll add that to there. Nobody's going to see this anywhere past this. I hope maybe they will. But the point is, is that we all agree on these points. And in a larger gathering that takes place at a later <laughs> date, if we all sit down and we tell everybody around us, this is the better, this is, this works, you know? That, then we have a chance to make that work. And then I think... There's, there's several times in New York where that did, I actually saw that work. It worked when we were on the bridge. It worked in the front. I was in the back and it worked in the front part of the bridge better. Sorry, I'm waiting for the bus. It worked on the front part of the bridge better. It was less successful in the back because nowhere, nobody had any room to sit at that point. We were smushed in. There was no room. Um, but... It, it gave, it, when people were starting to get frantic and anxious, it gave them an air of peacefulness. So, I, and it, I think it's, it's kind of working, even a small group. I was actually going to mic check it earlier as a suggestion, but it got a little bit out of hand and I didn't have a, a moment to do it, and that's fine. But if we can maybe mic check that, and the next one, when it gets a little bit of an issue, then everyone sits down and we can have a stacked, a stacked order when, when we need to. And that's a fifth tool that we all have that I would say here, or something we can maybe all agree upon. Mic check works, right? Yes. 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 Mic check works. Mic, Mic check, check works. works. All right, cool. So, fine. <coughs> Mic check. That worked really well. Okay, I've got another thing, that, and I'm going to propose this, because as I listened, these are things I think that everybody is in general support of. <laughs> and if we're looking for a couple basic ideas of what we are about, I think there is consensus on these ideas. One, we support the Occupy movement. Yes. Okay, <laughs> any opposition to that? Sweet. Second, we are together. Any opposition to that? All right, third, this is the one I really care about. We are nonviolent. And, and the thing that's really important to me there is that there's violence where you hit people and there's violence when you where you scream at people. And and 
if I, if there's one tool, if there's if there's one tool I can suggest in terms of what people look to before we gather again, it's a book called Nonviolent Communication, and just uh, that's a tool I'm going to throw out there. But louder, even louder. Okay, I can do louder. Is that by, is that by Marshall? Rosenberg? Marshall Rosenberg. Um, I, I think that's it, Marshall Rosenberg. Anyways, I would recommend you check that out, but the point is, I think we all agree that we choose nonviolence as a way of action and as a way of speaking and relating to each other. Sweet, okay. Um, now again, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to do this again every time there's a larger group. But if we know that this is something we value, we have, we have solidarity here, to do something like that at later points. The last point here is we are the 99%. Yeah. All right. All right, who here is in the 1%? No, it doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. This is about, this is about So, I mean, that's what I would propose as four tenets that we can all agree upon going forward <laughs> that we can put out to the world around us. We are in support of the Occupy movement here in Baltimore, in Washington, D.C., on Wall Street, everywhere, across the country. We are together, we are nonviolent, and we are the 99%. <laughs> Lastly, can I all lead you all in a repeat after me song? Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is a repeat after me song! This is a repeat after, after me song! song. And do as I do song! Do as I do song! Damus, damus! Damus, damus! Swimming in the water! Swimming in the water! Eating his supper! Eating his supper! Where did he go? Where did he go? He went to sleep. He went to sleep. Dead moose, dead moose, dead moose, dead moose, floating in the water, floating in the water, not eating his supper, not eating his supper. supper. Where did he go? Where did he go? He decomposed. He decomposed. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's important to be lighthearted if we're going to be also serious. That's right. Yeah. 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 I think there's a direct response here. In New York, often do exactly what he just did when things get a little bit tense. You can always mic check a song. A lot of people will start dancing. They ask people to shake it off, regroup after that's done, and it, 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 it works. So thank you for what you just did. It was a really good example of that. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I appreciate you all. Oh, I'm so sorry. I do have one other thing. I've got paper here. If you're interested in being a part of a working group, Write it down, there's Sharpies, we'll cut up them. I mean, we've got tools. Tools are helpful. So that, that's here. If you want that stuff, just come on up. Is that, do you write it down on the paper? Or, yeah, just for the day. Are you guys anything, before we, before we go into groups, you guys need to say something? Oh, so. Is people okay. still in chat? Do you have anything you want to say? I was going to ask about the, uh, the meeting again. The, the oh, second meeting. go ahead. It's been brought up a couple of times that uh, some people are requesting a second meeting before the actual event. I was wondering if possibly we could talk about that for just a moment before we actually break off into groups. Uh, direct response real quick. Yes. I, I believe, unless, and correct me if I'm mistaken, was there not a second meeting decided on at the General there Assembly no for no. Sunday It was, we had already started to break up and people okay. lose concentration. Okay. And I don't think everyone can make that, so maybe multiple, which could be facilitated on Facebook also. Sure. Sure. So, um, all right. Can would someone like to just kind of say that? Yes. Okay. Do you do you want to do maybe plan the Sunday one and then a weekday one? I do think it's really important if we do a maybe a Monday do daylight hours okay. or Tuesday so, like because five thirty was really late, so I think four p.m. is necessary because we it's hours long. So I would um, I would like to make a motion for uh, a couple more meetings. Is everyone in favor of perhaps two more meetings? At least. Okay, um, there, there was some discussion of a 5 p.m. one in Monroe Park on Sunday. Um, I'm one of the admins on the Facebook group, so again, we were talking about tools just a second ago. The Facebook group is a great tool to get information out to people. Um, would we move, maybe move to uh, make the Sunday meeting at like 4 o'clock so that we have several hours to discuss things in General Assembly on Sunday? Is that, is that, uh, would anyone, does anyone oppose that? Think of a better time? And then also... This guy's blocking. Blocking. Block where? Yes. Um, 
Only that perhaps no decision should be made until the next General Assembly that we all, everybody knows there's a General Assembly next next Saturday. Okay. No decision should be made, although people can gather, um, and, it's, and I guess information from those gatherings should be disseminated. But no decision is made. I have a direct response, sort of. Um, um, direct response? Uh, just kind of to that, because we are, there is no leadership, and because we're all organizers, I think that if we have a large enough group of people, uh, we can be considered a general assembly, like I consider this to be a general assembly. So even though there may be different people gathering at, at different times, when we all come together for our, a larger general assembly, that's when we can bring consensuses that we have made in those small general assemblies mm -hmm. to the larger to group. Order. To order, yeah. Sure. To order. Uh, yes, one last. Is anyone taking minutes, or how will they... It's being filmed. We've got so many people yeah. filming this that there are like 800 <laughs> minutes yes, out but, there. Yes, but will someone be editing it? Will be some yes, no yes and we'll put that we, out in the Facebook group so we'll and the, the Twitter account. There'll be a yes. media group at some point And there me. is a, a Facebook, or a, um, I'm sorry, a website that's been put together as well where we're going to post everything, you know, so that if you're not on Facebook, I know a lot of people, like, you know, purposefully keep themselves off Facebook, they can still access that general website um, and, and see this information. Is everyone in agreement of that, using the website as a universal tool of information dissemination? Beautiful. Yes. I think there's one point this question made, is like in the event where we do agree on certain things, like the like check, I'm thinking we have some type of documentation and he wants documentation. Uh, documentation, like written documentation? Yeah, like, like sure. we do agree on certain things. Um, okay. Not, like, you know, like major things. Just right. Just have something to say, hey, in this particular place, we did this at this time. Okay. Direct response? I'm somebody with a copier. Since there did seem to be some agreement on those points, I'm happy to copy a bunch of that and just have it available. Okay. Direct response? Yeah. You can just hand out. Right? Absolutely. Oh. When we're all in a group, I uh, propose a big blackboard or chalkboard paint or something on a big piece of wood in front of the We'll steal Glenn back. We can we can make uh, I think that that resource can become available. Does anyone have a blackboard or an easel or something that we can use? Maybe to even like a flip chart. How, how something a huge. Big board in the trash, like in a dumpster. Can do like a big yeah. one. I'm sure we can find yeah, that. There, there we yeah, there should be. There should be. Okay. We could, yeah, we could blackboard paint wood and then just make a huge right, one. I was gonna, yeah, let's do that. This should be a working group about uh, media outlets as well as present, uh, presentation multimedia. Yeah. I think there, it might be good to have an internal information group to like just give let everyone know what's going on. Okay, and on that note, um, there is a listserv already set up. Um, it's occupy-richmond at googlegroups.com. Um, it, what's up? Anybody's welcome to join. Right? Anyone is welcome to join, uh, and that's just sort of a way of getting the same information, the same discussion threads out to everyone in a little bit more ordered of a form than Facebook. Facebook makes it really easy to send you know an immediate response without having to sit there and consider your words and consider the ideas before you present them out there. So that that is a tool available. If anyone would like to make additional tools available, please, please do. If you disagree with something that's going on, create a solution or discuss a solution with other people and then offer that out to everyone so that we have as many ideas going out as possible. Because like remember this is this is a movement of ideas and of creativity and while we can all have you know opinions we have to formulate those into ideas and push them out to other people and I think that's kind of the purpose of these working groups is to create a, a discussion forum to where people who have an extreme interest in the media or in the facilitation or in the sanitation to come together and, and, and sort of make these uh, ideas heard to others so on that note, what's up? Police liaison. Yeah, police they already liaison. Have my, they already have my name have and number. One. Might as well. Oh. Yeah. So I would perhaps move at this point, unless there are any other direct responses to that particular <laughs> point. Would, would people, yes? Please. Um, I've been in attendance at Occupy Atlanta in Occupy Charlotte, and now I'm here. And I just wanted to let you know that there has been a move for at least both of those groups, and from what I hear, several others, to get off of Facebook completely. So, okay. at okay. some point in time, so we can General think about Assembly. that. already working towards that. You know, if you can just put the PR out there and kind of the drive. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, that, it's like you said, it can be 
be very confusing when everyone's yeah. posting at once. And Agreed. It's easily hijacked. Yeah, it's also, well, I guess public is what we're actually trying to go for, but right. security culture does seem yeah, to weigh in sometimes. Exactly. All right, I just, I just wanted to, because I know a lot of people are talking about, you know, what points, or what kind of, you know, what kind of consensus do, are we going to agree on these points, and I think those are a really great basic type of points, things to, you know, that are, you know, those are good, and we've all agreed on those. The whole thing is, is this is going to be chaotic. This is going to be, especially as it grows, and there's many people protesting, and then, you know, and protesting is just about getting the exposure to the thing we're going to actually you know you're going to be networking and finding out and joining causes that you think that you're going to do to help whatever cause that you're protesting or you know concerned about this is just about really getting every letting everybody have a note you know have a get noticed and us all coming together for you know the solidarity thing and all that but it's just i just I just feel like a lot of a lot of people are thinking that it's going to be that it's because it's chaotic that it's going to be unorganized and even if we're portrayed that way that's a bad thing. Well, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good it's good that the media or certain people can't label what this group is or what it stands for or you know even if you had somebody that you totally agree with that we totally disagree with out there with a sign that you've respected their right to be out there and protest with you. And if they're non, if they're agreeing, you know, if they agree to reason your right to protest, then that's good. So I just, that's what I want. That's just all I wanted to say. A lot of people, like you know, we saw some people try to get on the soapbox and don't get time for that. And as it gets disorganized, just don't become, you know, don't lose hope in it. Or because, or even if you're in a minority of an of a opinion on a lot of people, on a lot of things, as long as you're still standing in solidarity with their right to come up and speak and protest with everybody. Because protesting really doesn't, you know, us being out there isn't going to change anything. It's what we do afterwards and what we do together, you know, that's going to make the difference. Um, that's all I want to say. Guys, I think everyone's going to be... I think everyone's going to split up into working groups. There's some paper and pens over here right now. Um, I just wanted to mention... Sorry, I'm going to plug myself a little bit. That I am a, a board member of a group called Alliance for Progressive Values. We we welcome all kinds. We have a salon every second Monday of the month at Helen's, and we offer complimentary food and wine. We ask for donations because it all comes out of our pockets. But we work on a lot of state, federal, local stuff. We're doing a lot of get out the vote stuff um, for for Virginia. So if you want to check us out at all, it's apvonline.org, and we have a lot of information there. And we are a huge supporter of Occupy Wall Street, so just to let you know that um, that exists we as well. have a list of... I think Megan does have a list of, okay. of supporting organizations right. in the area. Oh, no, I was going to say of the, the work groups. Of the working groups. I think that's happening so we over can here. Like, and uh, if you want to you want to make one. Okay, yeah, I was just saying, like, for groups that we have, like, list those off and then say, like, meet here, meet here. Um, so I want to help for working groups, he's saying should we list them off and then have people? That way people know they're, they're like current options. Uh, are we all ready to break up? Are we all ready to break up into groups? Wait, one last thing. One last thing. Yes. Um, one, two. So now that Joe and Julia are gone, the three of us have been working on the VCU Occupy thing tomorrow. I'm Trina, by the way. Hi, um, Trina. And uh, I know it's starting at noon, and it's not just VCU students, like we said before. And if anybody wants to come before noon and help us set up and get a little bit more organized, that would be really wonderful. Okay. There's basically just three or four of us. What time? Uh, um, 11 p.m. if you need it? 11 I mean, 11 a.m. 1130 a.m. Yeah. if you need help. Okay. Uh, well, we're all going to have the thing right there in the amphitheater, between this building and the theater building. And it's from, it's from noon to four tomorrow. So if we just have a little bit of help from the people who've been in this meeting who understand what sort of things we've come to conclusion, it would be great. Thank you. Um, I just got confirmation that there, so there can be some voting in this, you know, this is not a final word, but there is a website up, OccupyRichmondVA.org. Right now, did that go out already? Yeah, um, oh, they're, that's they're putting up, um, you know, essentially a couple videos and links to the other media outlets that we have right now. So that'll be a really good starting point for information.
uh, that's been, I guess, reached on general consensus. Would everyone agree that only the stuff that's been generally uh, consensus should go on this website? Yeah. Yeah. So, I think there's another website that's pretty intense, yeah, and this will be very information based and what what's generally consensus. Okay. That was already done. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Cool. To go over that again. Yeah, so I guess we, um, if we like want to list off a couple that we have in mind already, uh, yeah. facilitation, oh, these, and these are just ones that have gone up in New York so far. Uh, obviously, make whatever working groups you want. That's, that's what they're there for. Uh, but we've got a sanitation sign right here. I think there's a legal sign somewhere back here if people are interested in the legal aspect of things. Um, we should absolutely, I would think, have a media working group that's working on all the different media outlets that we have. Um, are there other suggestions off top? Um, they, they can, I, I would say maybe in the beginning, the new pedal stages, keep them together and then once you have enough people in that with ideas and resources, they can kind of break off into their own working groups. Megan had also mentioned finance, medical, fundraising, security, kitchen. Comfort. There's a medical yeah, meeting, kitchen. was it tomorrow? Didn't yeah, I think there was tomorrow? a medical meeting tomorrow and we'll get that out in the minutes, I would say. Okay. Um, There's a medical meeting uh, at the statue. At the statue, I think, believe Sunday at five. Oh, Sunday. Cool. What, was it tomorrow at five? We can confirm that and get that out in the blast. Okay. Yeah, that, that, they're Is asking it, for anyone with medical. It's meeting. Sunday at five for sure. Okay, it's Sunday at five. Sunday at five for sure. All right. Is this your bag? My bag's over here. Sure, so if people want to be starting points for their working groups, you know, like raise a hand, we've got sanitation right here. Um, if like maybe media, does anyone want to hold the sign for media? We got a sign for media, do you want to hold that sign to pick a spot for us? Is anyone opposed to meeting now or do we want to do this in the future? Maybe we can meet now and get information. Meet now and get points of contact and exchange numbers and then go discuss as you want. Sure, auxiliary. Do you want to do you want to handle auxiliary since that's exactly what you're into? Cool. I've already volunteered for police liaison. I'd like to offshoot that from legal, but also make that like a safety council. Cool. I can just repeat over and over and over the request from the police department, and people can come to that group if they feel they've been stepped on. Absolutely. Any other suggestions? Anyone else have a working group that they want to get started tonight? Please, please. Somebody wants to do like a welcome committee. A welcome committee, yes. Oh, We've got a welcome committee member right here. I'm actually moving to Houston, so I'll be taking my opportunity to occupy Houston, but uh, if somebody wants to do that, I think that's a good idea. Hey, so it looks like we have a couple signs. Um, bust out. Y'all, good meeting. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just keep hearing you later. Oh, <laughs> yeah, getting late.